Hey, this is Zach, and we're at the Google Wildlife Center for another one of our green technology and sustainability micro lectures. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit, about, a little bit about rock salt. Uh, it's winter time, and people are starting to salt the roadways and their driveways to uh, keep the mice free. And we just like to point out at the Wildlife Center that rock salt actually has some serious environmental repercussions that can be harmful to wildlife. There are a number of alternatives to using rock salt in your personal driveway or on roadways um, that are just about as effective. And today, we've uh, invented our own solution. This is something I mixed up a little earlier uh, as an ice melter. And this solution we have here is a mixture of alfalfa hay, beet juice, or uh, juice from the beet root, which is uh, very high in sugar, a little bit of gravel for texture, and just the slightest bit of table salt. And here, you can see we have a bag of rock salt. Um, so what we're doing today is we're exploring, we're testing the mixture that we mixed earlier as an ice melter against the traditional rock salt. I have two frozen bowls here, and you can see that both are actually melting pretty effectively. Not bad. So we'll check in on that in a second. But the reason uh, rock salt can be so harmful is when you put it out on your roadways and you throw it on the ice and the ice begins to melt, the fluidity of the water actually will drag the salt, um, the saline water off. And if you say you salt your driveway or something or an impermeable surface, the water will roll right off of that into the natural environment. So if you have any plants on the periphery of your property or on the periphery of your driveway or anything like that, uh, they're actually going to get the uh, salt input from that. And that will limit their plant growth and actually kill the plant which is bad for wildlife because, as we know, uh, plants are a big source of food for them. Uh, additionally, when the salt leaches into the soil and uh, gets absorbed, it can actually cause a lot of the heavy metals to drain out of the soil, and those get carried by the running water into groundwater, uh, waterways, that can actually affect human drinking water. And the last point we want to make about that is that rock salt, seeing how coarse it is, uh, like any concentrated chemical, can uh, be very corrosive and harmful to wildlife and pets, especially uh, quadrupeds that have pads on the bottom of their feet. Um, this mixes with water, it can actually cause inflammation and uh, a rash to occur. So, going back to our experiment, we're going to test our results. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour the water that was uh, melted by each one of these solutions out just onto the counter so you guys can get a visual of how things are working. So this is the rock salt right there. And this is the, mix, the solution we mixed. So as you can see, they're about equal. The rock salt may have worked uh, just a tiny bit better, but the solution we have mixed up here is completely environmentally safe and will have no environmental repercussions to humans or wildlife. So if you're interested in this recipe, feel free to contact us or try out your own at home. Send them in, we're always interested. Uh, thank you, have a good winter, and we'll see you next time.